Easton, I like what you're trying to do, buddy. Where we're trying to trying to keep our chests over the play. We're trying to keep our head back. We're just going about it kind of a, a wrong way or a different way. We don't want to tilt our hips where now our hip angle is like this. Maybe that's a little extreme of a drawing, but you get what I'm saying. Is we're not trying to have our hips so tilted on that angle that now my head is staying back over my back foot that way. And like we talked about before, we're not trying to get past our back foot with any part of our body. If anything, we're trying to stay straight up and down and make sure that our leg is just turning. We're not trying to push our hips forward. And that's why we were talking about before of get, doing a no stride and you do so much better is watch how like, okay, you turn from right there and how it just keeps extending and extending and extending before your front foot even hits the ground. Now look how uncomfortable that is to go swing from, right? We should have our head right in the middle of our body. Ooh. We should have our head right in the middle of our body, split in our body, and our shoulders should be level, our hips should be level, and that barrel should still be behind your head. Now, again, the no stride is what is going to make you the best short term. And then you got to work on your pause drills, right? Where we load and stride and we're trying to create it like we're actually hitting the ball. So this is your load and stride right here. And then we're going to pause right there and try to make sure that that bat's back. We're going to check out our back leg and make sure that that thing's all turned out, right? And our front leg is perfect like that. And then just making sure that our shoulders are flat. Obviously, our head's in the middle of our body, so that's fine. And then we're trying to swing as quickly as we can from there. And don't worry about where the ball goes. I don't really care if you hit a home run. Like, yes, of course, we want to try to hit the ball far. But let's work on being perfect with our landing spot. And then we can worry about hitting the ball far and as hard as we can. Go land good. Go be strong at your landing. And then you can fire properly.